element no and then okay. something that teaches the game Let's master thief the links master thief puts the rare and the enemy's best items first for stealing nice. so it's easier much easier to steal them Ugh, oh god that Okay. Hey everyone. I'm Surreal K9 and it is time for Final Fantasy IX. I uh, just beat the final boss of Trails into Reverie. Still got some post-game stuff to do, but uh, I figure uh, it's, this has become a routine and we do have a bit of cleanup to do still. Yes, yes there is. And I am Hawk Sensa and I'm here for like guiding things stuff. Yep. And I need to actually have the chat overlay open. There we go. Alright, game. Okay. Yeah. Do I know we were looking for Feather Circle before? Because we yeah. stopped then. Because around the Chocobo tracks, there's Feather Circle and there's the, uh, friendly monster okay. that Wait, what am I doing all over here? Dang it, Choco. I think that's because you... Wait, I don't yeah. know. Ah, uh, well, the new key is um, Actually, I can just left. run... I can just run south off the border of the world, can't I? Well, if you go up the left-hand side, there's the marsh there, and you can take care of the blue magic and huh? the frog there. Oh, yeah. It's on one of the islands on the southwest of the, where you're at. Or, or southwest of I the landmass where you're at. I think I see it. You should be able to get up there. I can't get up there. This is the, the marsh. marsh. So I where is it? I think that's a sky island that is you it think is north. Yet. It's further north, yes. It's northwest of where you're at. I thought that was just the uh -oh, trying to watch the stream while <laughs> doing so. No. Uh, I think it is because my antivirus has decided oh. now would be a great time to do a hard drive scan. Of course. Okay. All right, Choco, says, go go go. On this island, you can find a gimme cat and an anemone and adamantoise. You're gonna want to save. First. Yes, you're gonna want to save after every battle because. Yeah, the anemone has bad breath, and you know how quickly that can cause the game over. Mr. Coots. These same two Moogles just show up everywhere. <laughs> How many frogs do I need for the ultimate fork, anyway? It's like 80-something, I think. Oh, man. Okay. That's why you gotta keep going back and... Well, you have three... You access the three marshes, so it makes it a lot faster. This one's easier to catch them at, at least. I am waiting for this streamer from Japan to get on. Even well, he's not, he's American, but he lives in Japan with his wife. So I need to see what he wanted me to be in him about. I was watching Vine wrestle, so I missed the giveaway. <laughs> 
Either that or the giveaway happened at like 4 or 5 in the morning, because Japan. That thing, yeah, I type of that and I got a gnome. <laughs> I was trying to type Google and I typed who. <laughs> and I got the gnome. You can help me before, man! Gotcha. You are getting hard, Queen. Huh? You've come far a long way of going on. I give you this Bistro Fork. Yay! Bistro Fork is really powerful for him. Frogs are just gonna be a thing now, so. Oh, you need 99 frogs. Okay. And there's an uber boss after you get all of them, but it gets. Okay. You know, the frogs are all male. There's three left. <laughs> yeah, they. I have my sights set on this one because I know the other two are a pair. I don't know what this one is. Oh, the other two are male and female, but you don't yeah. know what that one is. Yeah. At least I think the other two were a pair. Yeah, that guy just doesn't really get out of his mind. He might be standing too close. Bistro Fork is at 33. At 45, you get Battle Boots! You are not going to want to get all 99 frogs until later, because the boss you fight is level 75. And it is for Quena's ultimate weapon. Okay, so, enemies on this island. Alright, you are looking for... Adamantois, Anemone, and the Gimme Cat. Adamantois, Anemone, and Gimme Cat. Yeah, see, it explicitly says I saved at the ice field, so what the heck, Shoko? Weird. You gotta go back to the ice field at some point anyway. Maybe it's a safety <clears throat> thing to make sure that you're always starting on your chocobo if you're not near your air, the uh, ship. Yeah, I think it's just more default behavior of a world map. Well, I mean, I don't think it normally does that, it, but it, you were away from your ship, so if it starts you on a uh, chocobo there where you can reach your ship again, it's no, like a safety it's thing. No, it's time to play the wait for loading game. I love my black screen of battle! Woo! <laughs> Man, I hope I won that one of the Baldur's Gate 3 giveaways. <laughs> there were 3,900 people that entered the giveaway, though. But they- oh, it's Adam Antoys, but they had to have a good reason for it. Alright, Matra Magic time, I guess. Yep, Adam Antoys has 3,587 It has a very good skill. You might want to float yourself if you aren't floated yet. 
I'll take care of it in like two turns if we need to do this. He missed. <laughs> These things are, I think they're fairly high level. Yeah, they're fairly high level, but you can get them. Oh! Wow, it's a good thing he missed. Is everybody still in the back row from earlier? I have no idea. Everyone's still in the back row, I think. <laughs> Doesn't affect the strats too much right now. No, Aiko is definitely the only one in the back. Okay. Missed again! This point, I think I might be better off just attacking. Yeah. What? Oh no, that didn't miss so. Oh crap! Uh. Oh, if it hits, it had its an attack, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hiya! One thousand! Oh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the attack that you can learn, so. Wait, what? We fell! Ow! What? Okay. Om, om, om. Nope, not yet. Probably needs a, like a thousand more damage. Yeah. Uh, need Aiko for the next round. Not a thing. Zappo! Just dead. Well, yeah, I mean, See, this I, is why we stick to Mantra Magic. Well, <coughs> I wouldn't attack you. Koina, a Forex do random damage that can go higher than anyone else can, but they can. It's RNG. That was a ton of freaking gill you got, though. Okay. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 with the Illithids. Eldritch beings! Well, at least if an Illithid tried to go after, like, a, a, a tenant wall or something, Pip would just be like, Ooh, tasty squid! <laughs> Tastes like calamari. Oh, look, another one! At least I think in 5th Ed, nothing has to be evil, even Illithid, so... WHOA! Uh, yeah, you can eat it now. Like I said, his forks do, like, massive RNG range damage, so you can- That was- that was just a giant crit. Like, what the heck? EAT TURTLE! What are you, a Yoshi? How do you fit it all in here? TOITLES! Make sure to save after you do this too, yes. Because you don't want to get bad breath game over. Which is very easy to happen. Look at all that kill! Holy crap, that's a lot of kill. The potions! <laughs> <laughs> Stein. Yeah, 
That's probably pretty high level to be fighting. <laughs> Why has it got frickin' like Pikachu Raichu cheats anyways? That's where it's lightning attack comes from. I guess. Stop that! Or at least attack somebody who has higher magic defenses. Stun. Oh. Well then. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to fight that thing. <laughs> A couple of people may experience seizures when struck by lightning. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Here I am again. Uh, let's just make sure I have the ability. Uh, it's not here. Worst auto save ever. Didn't you just save? Yeah, I saved. I gotta, like, load my manual save, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think because oh, the autosave happens after you leave the... Enter and leave a place. Okay, it's time to try... Oh, there's a question. Uh... What's up? Uh, how much of the chocograph stuff do I have to redo? You Let's find out. Shouldn't have to redo a bunch of them? You saved. I did save, yeah. Okay, I. Uh, wait a second. No, I got a bunch of stuff to redo. What the heck? How did you load the right save? I didn't load the right save when I'd started streaming. I loaded the auto save. Oh. That explains it. Then why don't you load your save then? Because I just overrode it. Just now. Oh no. Alright, I gotta figure out where the heck I'm going. I still have the uh I still have the Picture should last still time. be in there, yeah. Alright, while you're doing that, I gotta turn off the oven because the cast iron should be seasoned down. Let's see. Where it's they're tight. At. It's tight. That means you also need to find all the, uh... All the dive, dive points. Yeah. Uh... I remember where one of them is. The ocean one is around where you're at there, yeah. <clears throat> you got... That's the one for an ultimate weapon. I guess we learned never to learn the auto save Or load the autosave in this. Yeah, at least because you went and grabbed all the, uh, you went and grabbed all the, uh, stuff before going back into there because you could access it. Inlet on the southern beach too here of this gotcha. continent. That you gotta die for it. May as well while you're here. 
Okay, Southern Inlet. That means you have to re-equip everybody again, too, because you did that at the end last time. So, in here. This is, yeah, this is right. Is it? There, uh, I don't, I don't see so. any bubbles. No, that's not right. It's further, it's a more southern one. In there? Finally, I get this dive spot, unless there were more than two that I am forgetting. And then we what, can get oh, back wait, to blue magic that? hunting. Wait. What was that? Is that or uh, were there only the two dive spots, or were there more? Um, there's more, but you didn't get them last time. Did you get the uh, ocean one, where you get the whale whisker? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. You're going to want to go back to the ice place, too, to, uh, find a thing on the wall that you can break. Uh... Wait, where am I going? The ice, ice area. area. 
you can find a crack on the wall and use a dead pepper on it. You should have had more than one dead pepper, though, which is, I think you have... I have a lot of dead peppers. Okay. There is the crack there. Oh, yeah, I see it. If only you could climb up outside of a beach. See, this is why Rufio is the better bird. He can just walk up walls. Rosetta ring, protect ring, airship card. Alright, back to, uh, back to that island, I guess. Yep. Even though we're closer to... So there, I mean, there's two things you need to find in the ice place here by the joke about tracks. Yeah, okay. You could also go into the, uh, place that's over here. There's a shop. Another circle, you need to get one of these. Taste bad. Yeah, what's that feather circle? That's supposed to be a feather circle, the heck. What ability that do I get from it? Maybe I already have it. Maybe? Uh what? Um uh, level four holy. I have it. Oh, you already have it. Okay. But there's a friendly monster that is a feather circle that is friendly that you need to find here, too. Okay. You can just run from things if you need to, if it, if it shows up. Eh, I kind of want to get the Steiner done with his blood sword.
That was a lot of experience I just got.
tell there's the beach. Alright, back to adventure. Alrighty, back to the island. Oh wait, did you get anything? We need anemone and gimme cat. <clears throat> oh yeah, I should have put auto haste on Queena since he has it now. Also, Steiner has his good sword out now. Toidles never stops. Very random damage. Woo! I need to use some of these potions, I think. There we go. <laughs> More turtles! Uh, I kept thinking that you know fully now how to change how to use that. That's a lot. And Zidane and Steiner absorb Earth, okay. Yay! So many turtles, at least they give you a ton of, uh, gill, I guess. Yes. You're gonna need it for the auction house. Woo. Okay, somebody looked at- uh, somebody learned something when I wasn't looking. Uh, Happens a lot, actually.
more turtles! <laughs> hey, you cows. Yeah, so it, at least you could kill these compared to the dragon that just nuke you instantly. Yeah. Ooh, double auto flow. Okay. No <laughs> Long reach. HP up is good for him, remember? He has the uh, minus strike. Yeah. Uh, but he was already in the middle of learning these two abilities. Yeah, Patrick's power box is so good. Also, I beat Trails into Reverie today. Do, 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 Patrick's power box, huh? I'm waiting to see if I uh, won Baldur's Gate 3 or not until a Japanese streamer gets on. <laughs> Well, Japanese American streamers in Japan. <laughs> he PM'd me. I have not done anything else. I, I literally trying... beat the final boss and uh, saw the ending right before I started streaming. I, I've been trying Divinity One. It, it's ridiculously slow at the start to the point it's making me not All want right, to play let's it. But... Wander around over here. Nice. Oh no, it's a dragon! Yeah, it's run the heck away! <laughs> what if Yukels knows about the feud going on right now of which protagonist would beat the other protagonists in the Falcom stuff in regards to trails? Ever, most people seem to think Reen would win ever, of everyone, but I think Estelle has a chance. Well, I'm glad this thing has terrible accuracy, because, uh... If it's the size of... Oh, man, there goes Aiko. Doesn't... Does Zidane have a way to, uh, instant nope. run? I thought he had something in his skills for it. Oh, well, maybe. He might be dead, though. Right? What's that? Oh, Flea. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Time for 10th, I guess. <laughs> it fa- Oh, no, it didn't fail. Drop 260 <laughs> gil. Oh, no. Uh, Yukel's uh, getting optional items is real nice. But you could just sell some of the, uh, like, Brave Souls and stuff that you pick up. I still say Estelle has a chance just because she's more experienced than Reed by far. And has fought so many different types of people and monsters and trained by so many people. Just raw power isn't everything. Somebody told me there's an infinite Mira trick, but I don't know. Because I told them not to spoil the game, so they're like, well, there's an infinite, infinite mirror Wait. trick. Uh... Nobody... <laughs> the tent didn't revive anybody. Oh, no! Well, the name's probably Oh, blind. right. Uh, sleep. Okay, so I wasted a 10. Good to know. Go 
couple Phoenix Downs and just like 20 MP from Aiko. We're back on our feet. Yeah, I think the place the guy. Oh, is yeah, like, there is, but it's 260 I, gil isn't all that much per dragon. Especially when you're getting like 6,000 per, per dragon! My goodness. This Mamba Bar is Trent seeking revenge for being like this. I guess. Isn't it the black dragons that have the thunder? <laughs> no, it's blue. No, they have acid. Blue dragons have thunder, yeah. Yeah, somebody was telling me there's an infinite mirror trick in one of the one of the chapters where crossbell. That's all I know. I mean, I would figure crossbell would be in the game. It's not a spoiler there, but. Farm her. Oh. I and mean, she probably doesn't have Dragon's Crest yet. We have one ultimate weapon early, and it's for Dagger. The Dagger is currently useless in battle, so... She's having a bad day, and her stats were cut in half. And she will randomly not be able to act, like, 80% of the time. Although her ultimate weapon teaches her Hiraga. Man, I... I bet the coral bracelet or something sits on Zidane so he can't die. Uh, from. Ow! From. Uh, thunder. Oh, there is Zidane. Well. He got poisoned to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess the Gimme Cat and the Nemity are pretty. Well, maybe they just don't show up on the grass, but I haven't maybe seen Maybe they're in the marsh? Maybe. If this is a turtle again, I'm gonna... Yeah, it's a turtle again. I'm gonna actually get it in the marsh, I guess. Anemone is in the marsh. to deal with the cat. Into the marsh we go. Clara's trunk, but Clara's gone. What else could we do? What is that? Anemone! That's what I'm looking for. Uh, Anemone. Gimme Cat is a gimmick thing that's gonna ask for diamonds. You cannot attack it until after it tries to, uh, ask for diamond four times. It is really rare. Cook! Learned bad breath! Heck yeah! 
Alright, so where does Gimme Cat show up? It can show up on the island. Okay. On the island, okay. It's ridiculously rare, though. Okay. Can't encounter it anywhere else? You can encounter it other places. Okay. Later on, you'll be able to encounter something else that teaches the same skill, though. Okay. Then I won't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Beaches on the outer side of the outer continent can teach level 5 death. I don't remember which one is the outer continent. Do I have level 5 death? Outer continent, I think, is the north one. The level 5 death is from the zombie whales. Otherwise, you have everything outside of Rolay, which is useless. Rolay is on the Aoife tree. It's from the zombies. Well, you cows, there are, uh, there are, uh, master missions for, uh, raising everybody up to level 130 at least. Maybe 140 or 50. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it right now, then. You're probably fine. I was level 140-ish when I beat the final boss. I gained, like, two levels on each of their phases. I've been getting asked for advice a lot on how to beat the final boss of Azure, so... <laughs> hmm. A lot of people are getting stuck on it and read it. It's like, just don't do a lot of damage and save your burst for the with the desperation attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like, Lloyd is immune so... to its... Ca its Lloyd can taunt the auto-vanish and so this, ignore uh, it. <laughs> this beach or a different beach? Any beach on the other Any continent. Beach. Okay. That's, uh... Let's see Beach is on eastern side of the continent, I guess. So okay. you were kind of on the eastern side. I, don't know. <clears throat> I also five. lost the first time against the last boss of Azure. I like, didn't I donn't somehow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because I knew it was coming, and I told you. Well, I also used a completely different tactic than what you told me to, because I had, I had. Uber Wazi with the frickin' uh, Mobius courts. Hmm. I forgot who else I had. I did I have Ellie and Tio or did I have Randy and Ellie? Always... I know I had Tio. I know I had Tio, but I I don't remember if I had Randy too uh, or there's a beach up there, yeah. I just remember I had Lloyd that stuck in the corner. Has me kinda nervous. Yeah, don't go near there. <laughs> I remember I had Lloyd in a corner to, like, pull all the mobs into spawning and stuff. Alright, what am I looking for here? Oh, these guys. Zombie Whale has 
missed the gag. Alright, we're just gonna fight. Yummy dead whales. Just, uh, that's how you get bad breath is eating that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so is there anything I can break now that I have level 5 death and the only queen is level 25? Uh, I don't think so. Alright. Level 5 death's one of those things that just doesn't really have any use. I mean, the Aoife tree has relays too, which is just randomly kills one enemy or ally, which is kind yeah, of Yeah, I might as well grab it while I'm here. Just yeah, off the zombies, the... right? Yep, from the Aoife tree. They have 970 HP. Mm. And then otherwise, it's just revisiting the marshes. There's one on where you're at on the outer continent. Where There's one the on... Tree? The, tree. the original one. Here's a marsh. And then we should revisit Alexandria for lots of jewels to buff summons, I guess. stuff. I think it's just the number of them you have in your inventory. Eh? What? Mikhail's is asking about the jewels. Oh, the other summons are get powered up by how many of the same type of gems you have that teach it. Carbuckle just changes what it does depending on which gem you have equipped on Jayco. Fenrir changes stuff too. So 
in the Aoife tree or just around it? In the Aoife tree. Even outside of D&D, monks are kind of a bad class. Monks aren't really usually a bad class. It's just the Amaranth is just lacking a lot of stuff. <laughs> Yay, I can kill this thing like a soft. I mean, in Tactics Advanced, they're the best bongo job because they're the fastest bongo job. Eh. Besides that. Alrighty, Aiko has mastered holy. Feepy, who are you feeping at, Mish? She is feeping at somebody, but I can have Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Feep, 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 feep. Oh, whole life. She is just feeping at something. I gotta check out what she's upset about. She's looking at something. Zambies. We got the 
Zambies, baby. Uh, pretty good. Not good enough for eating. Okay. I don't know if you heard what she was peeping at. That's really silly. The, uh, cat tunnel? That cat tunnel I have? It's on the floor and being blown back and forth by the intake and the vent. So it was rolling around and she was feeping at it because it kept rolling towards her and rolling away from her. <laughs> she was going, oh. Oh. <laughs> It's like, what are you looking at? <laughs> oh, look, it's relaxed. Good job. Of course it does nothing to the undead. Mantra magic, please. No, of course it must. Oh, and now it's just gonna happen. Not bad. Okay, they're just all going to melt. This is perfect. You'll have to, uh, like, hit them twice with Aiko, maybe? Uh, no, that doesn't get them weak enough, and three times would kill them. Really? Doesn't get a weak enough? Huh. Yeah, she does 300 something damage. Uh. Huh. I could try Cura, actually. Or Cura, yeah. What about a potion? How much does a potion heal for? Well, uh, potion heals for 100. Use three potions and they can Or attack. Uh, have Aiko attack and use two potions and they eat it. It would probably do it. Go. Well, that's good because you. Well, once you go and turn in your stilazos and stuff. <laughs> There's a new stuff to bid on, so that's good. What do you mean by that, you kills? Zambi. You are not Zambi. 
I mean, it's shown up every time I use it. It's not like it just fails to respond. Ooh, alright. Queen has mastered all the priest. Yeah, Phoenix has always been a little random. I remember Phoenix saved me fighting Emerald Weapon in 7. But... I think the more pinions you have, maybe the better chance it has of showing up, because you have he has a buttload of pinions now from uh, Chocobo Hunt Cold. But anyway, unlike in Tactics Advance, it seems like the Phoenix Summon doesn't actually heal your party, it just gives you lives. Which is a little silly. I'm just gonna keep going on about Final Fantasy Tactics again, so... Uh, they have good looking uh, Moogles, I guess, yeah. but... Uh, I hated the story of the game. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, but the main character is kind of a jerk. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I was always soured on the fact that I had a bunch of holy weapons equipped when I went to fight the final boss and learned it absorbed it all. And I had one single person that could damage it, and it was a pain in the butt. Alright, these zombies don't want to show up, so I'm not here. Yeah, rolling isn't even a great attack, it's just kind of there for completion stuff. Like but you're getting Parados, right? Like Alright, well, that was a colossal waste of time. Uh, Alexandra? Yep, you can go to Alexandria, uh, or, or you can head to the uh, auction house and uh, Khan's dwelling to get some stuff. Nice. The way these things make noises when they show up in battle reminds me of Pokemon. Hard to believe this game this game was roughly contemporary with Pokemon Gold and Silver. <laughs> it's like a world of difference. I mean, we're comparing a PlayStation game to a Game Boy game, but still. usually think of the early Pokemon games as being a lot older than they actually are. And... Oh no. The tree is protecting Choco. There we go. Alright, off to Alexandria to do the thing. There's a place you can go north of this continent, but you can't do anything here yet. Here. Anyway, 
that's just the evil forest over there, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, the post-game stuff in Tactics Advance 2 is terrible. Oh, this is Alexandria. It's way up here. Alright, so what am I doing here? There's a bunch of uh, gems you can find. Okay. It didn't give me a map. It just says, go back into the castle. It's the same loads, sure. <laughs> Oh, to get back in the... yeah. Eh, I guess it's good that they're rebuilding already. Kind of figured By the, the place castle got... gondola, there's an opal Pirito on the left side, behind the fountain. Alright, can I get back to the castle first before you start giving instructions? Well, the town side, there's stuff in town, town side dock. Uh, this thing is taking forever to load. Little girl running around town square has a card. Yeah, okay, town side dock, there's All she Gale says is our card game's really not fun to play. Sure as heck ain't fighting her for the card if I don't need to. Alright, so oops, some, something. Something. Topaz. By the broken guard forums, yes. Topaz and Gil. Gil. To the castle. I kind of figured, uh, with Darlin showing up and everything, the town just got super nuked on our way out, but yeah, apparently not. There are still people here. <laughs> <coughs> okay, where to? Okay! Actually, I can't even this, this pile of rubble has a sapphire. By the castle gondola, get the opal and peridot by the left side behind the fountain. Sapphire near the rubble blocking the main entrance to the castle. So, all in this area. It's all in the, like, dock area. Okay, what fountain? It probably got destroyed. Yeah, the fountain right there. Oop. Opal! Yep, Opal and Pirido on the left side and behind the fountain, yeah. The sapphire. Oh, the other the left. Okay. Yeah. I got the sapphire. Okay, and that's all you need in the castle then. Let's head back in the town. The broken equipment shop has some gill laying on its doorstep and a remedy. In the southern gate. And Amethyst is also by the southern gate on the left side. So, southern gate sounds like we're heading to. Yeah, it's a message from the Rebels. I think it's that one. Yep, that's the equipment shop. Or it was. <sighs> Alley South will be X Item Shop, which whatever that is. Wait, what? I thought there would be a gate. Is it South Gate? I'm guessing it's just around that area, maybe? I don't know. Is this a gate? Oh, this is kind of a gate. Yeah, maybe that's what they meant there. Ether! What am I look 
Is that what I was looking for? In the alley south of the X item shop, Sapphire, let's see. Does anybody nestle near the southern gate? Maybe southern gate to the town square? In the alley uh -huh. there is. Amethyst. Yeah, Amethyst. The little girl running around the town square. We say, well, let's give an Alexandria card, but. The alley south of the side of Shop of the Alley, there's a sapphire. And then that's it. see any sapphires. Must not be this place, yeah. There was nothing. Weird. Just says, Unless it's down the here. alley south of the X item shop, the sapphire is near where Ilya's grandma used to live. Which doesn't. Ah! Thanks, sweetie. Thank you for sharing your water. I don't remember where Ilya's grandma lives either. Alright, well, whatever. I mean, Sapphire is probably just gonna boost your uh, summon a little bit. But... What the heck are they talking about? They didn't leave me a map. This is the only. Oh! No, that's the dude. Yeah. Wasn't the item shop in south of the... I think it was south of here. I have no idea. An alley somewhere? Who the heck is there an alley? Guess what? I don't care anymore. I'll have to try now. Hold on. I found something that actually... Yes, we got the little girl running around the school. One of the little girls running on the square for the Alexandria card. City site. What the heck? Eh. I can't find anything else that mentions it. It just said alley. Okay, well, I'm not getting a card from anybody in over here, so I'm going to try it. Alright, that's fine.
<laughs> that uh, does sound like a way to maybe do it. That would be silly if that was the case. Scott Joplin while it... Wait, what? Well, wait, what, what? Oh. No, I thought from the gates opening there was something going on, but there wasn't. Anyway, listen to some Scott Joplin while I get some ladder... Ladder. Water. <laughs> while I get some ladder. Turn in this to Lazo. The bird lady's house. I think it's on the left hand side. Like, left upper side of town. But the left side goes down. <laughs> Let's see. It's like further along the here. Isn't this Dr. Tot's place? No, you head up north after heading left, I think. So what, down the stairs here? If the game is... I can only see a black screen at the moment, so... <laughs> That's a synthesis that 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 shop. <laughs> no, it's still north. There it is. Yeah, you kills. Uh, Chuck Somerville and the the other Chips Challenge Steam developers used a bunch of Scott Joplin tracks as the soundtrack for Chips Challenge One and Two. We will get the Star Sphere, which lets us counter the dark magic in Hulu. I already made that joke. Ah, okay. That's a lot of good. Okay, that's all of them. Off to the auction house.
Puppy! Inner Moogle. Heart. I think I already got that. Fairy earrings. I think I already got that. You are Space looking Fury. for. Thief gloves. Thief gloves. Okay. I think is what you're looking for. Yeah, let's see. You are looking for thief gloves and the promised ring. two of Chair? That was my chair. Jeez. Yeah, this thing is falling apart. Going to have to uh, get some new furniture next year. Nice me. Burper. At the very least, a good chair I can pull up next to yours when we're streaming. Yeah, hi, sweetie Purper. Come sweetie. Here. You can't tell me this doesn't sound like some of Scott Joplin's works. Um, one of them, he it done the one he did as Steiner, and then one as Zidane so far. The others aren't there yet. Some expensive stuff. <laughs> expensive gill. What are they bidding on right now? Uh, Une's mirror. Oh, of course. It really gets around, doesn't it? Lucky, look out! Yeah, look up the Chips Challenge 2 trailer on YouTube. That would be a pretty good idea. <coughs> it's just the whole ragtimey piano solo thing. Thief gloves! Woo! Wow, that jumped up pretty fast. It is on Steam. What do you 
guys even want with thief gloves anyway? You're not adventurers. That is expensive, my goodness. It's definitely worth it to get the good items easier. I think they're just like... They have money, so they'll just try to use it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> First bid. Hopefully you've got enough for the other thing, too. How much do you have left after that craziness? Jeez. Over 200,000. Okay, you're fine to get the... Uh... Oh, right. There we go. Master Thief! Probably don't need that one too much. No. Master Thief, you passed it. Yeah, what the heck, Beast Killer. Alright. What else is there to get? The Promise Ring. Right. The Promise. It was misspelled in the past, I don't know if it still is. Rat Tail! Doga's Artifact! Promise Ring! There it is. Is it misspelled again? Probably. Yes, it is. Yes, it's misspelled still. Could be Promise. a pod, but I don't know. <laughs> zip, zoop, zop, zip, zoop, zoop, zop, zoop. Check it out, I have a tail. Chips Challenge 2 is, like, really cheap. You know, let me, uh, I think it. Chips Challenge 1 and 2, they were, they were, like, super cheap, yeah. If, uh, Steam oh, yeah, I'm still logged into Peter's account. Whoops. I could troll him by buying him just a completely random game. <laughs> Since I've logged into his account still. Oh. Mr. Coots, what you doing? E yeah, Chips Challenge 1 is free right now, and Chips Challenge 2 is $5. Oh. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second, what? What? The original version of Chips Challenge is available for $25? What? What? Uh... Yeah, what? That is bizarre. Yeah, this... Yeah, the uh, CC2 version of the game is free right now. At least that's Why what it says. Be twenty five dollars. What? I don't know. Like this is like the nineteen eighty nine handheld version. But yeah, it says the original is free right now. Or the uh, twenty five dollars. What? Why is this twenty five? For an Atari Lynx game. Okay. Well. uh... The CC2 version of Chips Challenge 1 uses the Chips Challenge 2 engine, which uh, has some behavior that's different from the Lynx version. I'm not quite sure what the difference is, but it's also got much better graphics. Like, the Lynx version was a 1989 Atari handheld. It's multiple version multiple ports of multiple console versions i guess oh still that's kind of fascinating still wait what's being sold right now promise ring yes 
<laughs> got so distracted talking about Chip's challenge that I almost missed the auction. <laughs> Oh, that, this is fascinating. There's also the uh, early 1990s port to Windows 3.1. Which is probably the much more famous version of the game, but I don't know if that's sold anywhere. Probably doesn't even run on modern computers because it's a 16-bit application. Which one is that now? The uh, Windows 3.1 port. Oh. From the Windows Entertainment Pack. Sold! All right. Let's see, yeah, the Chips Challenge compilation has the Atari Lynx version, the Commodore 64 version, the Commodore Amiga version, the ZX Spectrum version, and new re newly released ports for the, the Genesis and Super NES. This enhanced version introduces a number of modern features, including saving and loading a game at any point, support for most modern game controllers, full control remapping, and image scaling and smoothing options. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I'm gonna slap that on my wish list. Uh, let's see. I don't even. Apparently it's been on sale Wait, for what? like a couple bucks in the past, but Epics uh, apparently published a Commodore 64 and DOS game platform game called Jumpman. That is uh, that is very interesting if you know your Nintendo history. <laughs> Oh, whoops, I put that on his wish list. I'm a doofus. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, yeah, I better log back into my account. Although, you know what, it's midnight, so I guess finishing the auction is the last thing we'll do tonight. Yeah, and then all you have to do after the auction is... That, that's it, actually. Okay, so, next week... Oh wait, Quan's, Quan's dwelling. You can do that real oh, quick yeah. before we end. That's okay. right outside. Just go outside and do that, because it's another dive spot, but you do it from within Quan's dwelling. Okay. Remember where he fished up Vivi? Go there and you can use a I pepper from there. I don't remember where he fished up Vivi, but... I to find it. Also, that was the wrong direction. Remember the secret cutscene that we found with e with Vivi when we were in this place? We went in that cave and the yeah, Quaina okay. dude fished him up. Yeah, you just go to that cliff in there. You'll get an upgraded racket for the trouble, at least. Uh, epic Pinball I have played. I haven't heard of the other ones. Well, actually, no. I might have heard of Incredible Machine. Okay, Burb, let's go. Epic Pinball was the one that was everywhere, I think. With the UFO and everything. No, no, that was uh, that, that was the Space Cadet Pinball. That was a completely different pinball pack. I think that was Epic Pinball to begin with, except it... Yeah, like, Epic Pinball came out including that with a bunch of other things later. It's back in that corner there, I think. Now I have to look this up. Since they're talking about old <laughs> PC and Windows nostalgia. Come on.
because yeah, it was like Epic Pinball and Microsoft Pinball and all that. Microsoft decided to release, like they gave you the one free table and you get more, but then it became like a really crazy thing. That's still going on. Like there's like 50 different things for it, including the classic. Full Tilt Pinball, that's the name of the full release. It features pre-rendered graphics and three tables, Space Cadet, Skullduggery, and Dragon's Keep. Initial release, October 31st, 1995. Microsoft Pinball Arcade. Yeah, that's the one that has the original one now. <clears throat> Pinball, that's Pinball Star, that is not. Yeah, Epic Pinball I remember playing on DOS. Yeah, it still had that Space Cadet table. It yeah. Microsoft has had that forever under like multiple different names. Okay. You don't need to go over I the mountain. Have... It's just... It's in that back corner of the forest over there. Oh, back here. Okay. Like, there's a little thing right back there. here you can go into, I think. Yeah. Quan's dwelling. So I can just... Go in there, yeah. Go in there. You have to go inside to get it, otherwise it's not shown on bubbles on the map, and it's a pain to find. Just go all the way in the back, into the edge of the cliff, and Zidane will notice something and you can use a pepper. There's something at the bottom of the ledge in the ocean. Use a it's pepper. Like Get there on a chocobo. Use dead pepper, yes. You could have used it from up there, I think. Oh, well. <laughs> well, this is just all kinds of stupid right now, so, uh. With dead pepper, yes. Splish! Because otherwise you might not get all the items or get them. Treasure on the bottom of the ocean. Nine ore, 15 topaz, one tiger racket, one red rose card. There you go. Discarded tiger. cards over 100. Oh, I get it now. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Tiger Racket! Aiko and Dagger finally have an upgrade. Well, Aiko and Dagger, yeah. I was gonna say, didn't we already get the... That's a big increase, wow. There you go. And then next time we get to finally go on with the story. Woo! Side stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's going to be it for me tonight. Yep. And I will be back with Trails of Cold Steel starting the finale tomorrow. Woo! Cold Steel 4 finale. Well, it's probably going to be a few games before it's a finale, or a few streams for them. Tuesday, and the Tuesday end. night, we're going to be uh, playing 3000X. I think it's not out full yet till Saturday. The 9th? Um, Comes out on the 9th. Yeah, yeah full release is like the night. Oh, that's Wednesday or something, yeah. I think it said the 9th? I'll double yeah. check. No 6969 cat. I'm trying to look for something lucky. It says August 9th, yes. Yeah, okay. So 
Wednesday, I Wednesday. guess. Is it Wednesday? Yeah. Alright, well, uh, you know. Like, beer or something, then, and then Saturday is that, I guess. Yeah, something. Because we have second, uh, stuff to do in here. Second, uh, whatever you call it. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>